from MIA to LA on the run like I don't got in the state. Yeah. Olivia, what's up? How you doing today? Good, okay, I'm doing great. I'm loving this outfit. Is this a fucking jacket and a dress together? Yes, it together? Is one. Oh my god, you look so fly. Thank you. Yes. And what was your favorite part about the show? Um, oh, Yes, oh, that's why. What's your favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring, winter, fall? Wait, say that one time. What's your favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring, winter, fall? Summer. I'm summer. A summer girl through and through. I love it. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Coming out of the trenches, please. One look here, please. Hey, Dirk. Hey, India. How y'all doing? Y'all look crazy. Can I get a selfie with you? Dirk, bro, can I just ask you about the fit before you go? I know y'all in a rush real quick. Oh, I like that. That's fly. India, you look fly too. Thank you. I appreciate that, Dirk. DJ, what's up, my brother? How you doing today? Talk to me about the fit. Hey, man, I got it on. That's all that matters. Look, let me tell you, I've been watching YouTube for a long time. Real inspiration ever since you and Kennedy was doing the pranks in the crib back in the days, man. Yeah, I love that, man. I appreciate you. Congrats to the baby, too, man. Appreciate it, bro. Baby, Rich, what's up, my brother? Talk to me about the fit today. Maybe on the pants, you know. Uh huh. On no shirt. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Love that, man. Fam, love. All right. Okay, Mauricia, how you doing today? I'm great. Okay, you? talk to me about the fit. This shit is fly. So I got um, the Adigo jeans. Uh huh. Um, some Zara, cute heels. Okay, I love this. Topic from Thieven. Yeah. Um, my accessories, I don't remember where it's from. Yeah. Gucci. I like that. Michelle. Yeah. Versace. Yes. Oh, <laughs> come on, come through. What was your favorite part about the Off White show today? Everything was Everything. amazing. Yeah, love that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Valina, yeah. how you doing today? Yes, yeah. yeah, talk to me about the fit. Your yeah, outfit is fire. Oh my god, yeah. I'm wearing total black. Okay. And well. I was uh, inspired by a last collection of off white. Yes. I like this style, like tights and like skin vibes. Yes. So. Yeah. And I love how you have the, the wet effect on the hair. It, it matches with the outfit. What was your favorite part about the fashion show today? Uh, so actually, I was expecting more than Yeah. But no. So I actually like the style like of the dresses where yes. it's like more hair style and yes. here you have like some you know face to play uh -huh. and yeah I really like the collection. That's dope. And we hit the word fashion, what's the first thing that comes to mind? <laughs> Like self-expression, I don't know, thinking outside the box. Confidence. Couple oh, love that. Confidence is key. Thank you. P Hunt, what's good, bro? How you doing today? B Hunt, B Hunt. B Hunt, what's well, good, bro? How you doing well. today? That's what's up. So talk to me about the fit. Start from the Man. cap all the way down. So I had to, you know, I was coming to New York, so I had to be do extra with the hat. So uh -huh. I had to do this, man. Uh, load up on accessories. Uh -huh. Bandana. I had to put a little street in there. Yeah. Uh, vintage YSL jersey that I customized. Ooh, I like cropped that. it a little bit. This is, I like that crop look. Prada shoes. Uh -huh. These pants, nothing, yeah. nothing huge. Fashion Nova. Okay, okay, it's cool, it's cool, but I'm liking how you mix the highs and the lows and how you play everything together. For sure. What was your favorite part about the Off White show? Uh, my favorite part really yeah. was uh, the looks. I love the looks. I love the new, I love the new collection. Uh -huh. um, crazy, crazy yeah. aesthetic of it, you know. Yeah. Love that, love that. And what's your favorite season to get dressed? Like summer, spring, Absolutely winter? Absolutely fall. Fall, for sure. Fall, winter. Yeah. I like to Layers. layer up. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. For sure. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Romel, how you doing today, brother? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, man. You got to talk to me about this fit. One thing about it, you're going to come through rocking the fits. That's all I got to do. Uh huh. Always. Just okay. Forever. Yes. And who's the fit by? Me. Oh, look at that. Love Literally. that. Literally yes. On my body. Everything. Uh huh. Everything is me. Yes. What was your favorite part about the Off White Show? I like it all of it. It's just really, really nice. I like yes. the, the whole court type, the court basketball court. Yes. Oh, really nice. Yes, thank you, thank you for sure. And what's your favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring, winter, or fall? Um, whenever the sun is out. So yes. summer, I like summer because yes. people like fall, you know, you can layer, but yes. I like the way you know, sequence and diamonds in the summer so you can clean, clean, shine. Talk your shit. That's I'm, right. I'm shine. a summer baby, oh. you know, so that's what I do. Brother. That part. <laughs> that part. Two, three. Katrina the Creator, what's up, sister? How you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing. I'm loving your hairstyle. I see this jacket that you got on. It's worn backwards. You know what I'm saying? But it's brought to the front. You know, to really highlight the pieces. Yep. Yes, for sure. Now, talk to me about the outfit. Start from the hat all the way down. All right. This hat is my brand. For God so loves the world. Yes. God loves you. I'm the global minister of fashion. And what I do is 
I use fashion as a vehicle to tell people just how much God loves them. Yeah. So this is just to remind you, it's Sunday morning, yeah. Sunday afternoon now. Yes. And just telling people God loves you. If I can't tell you, you can read this. He loves you. He loves all of us. Amen. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. All right, so then we're going to get into this. I am known as a chameleon. I'm always a layer. I'm always going to be out day to night. Preach. I don't know what's happening. Preach. So I think about different ways I can wear stuff. So think, I turn into food. Yeah. Think about how many ways you can make chicken. Yes. When you start off, it's going to be fried, baked. Bakes. But then you want to get into it. Yep. You want to make some cordon bleu. You want to do some different things. So I always take my things and I find new treatments. Sometimes this may be a pair of pants. Yes. So right now I have it to the back. That's my signature because yes. I love these shoulders and the clavs. Yes. My clavicles. And here I'm wearing Buglia, oh. which I absolutely love. She wear the step. Yeah, she easy. put that shit on today. Yeah. Front and back. Answer. Stepping. Okay. Wait, shout out to the Lord Jehovah Christ. I shouldn't have said that, but amen. Amen. <laughs> the Lord understands. Yes. He's the greatest designer. He understands. Yes. What about the bag? This right here, I'm in love. Yes. This is Broken Home. This is One Star Kai, yes. my son. Yes. My ride or die, my yes. second mini me. Yes, this is Show his to your brand, son. and so I had to rep him. I love championing black designers. Yes, and I definitely got a champion my son, who's a dope black designer. Amen to that. And hold on, y'all, because this is a jacket turned into a bag with what? the straps right How there. How did you know? Amen. Uh -oh, Look at that. You know, you know I pay attention to details now. But, I the, but, the, but the situation is, it goes back to being a jacket right. because I need both. When you say grab them by the collar, that's what by I'm talking collar. about. Look, 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 don't play games. <laughs> <laughs> in case I gotta hang it up. Right, right. Hang it up. Black screen. I have to hang it up. Right. It will get, sure. it will get hung up. Get hung up. Yes, it happens. It happens so much. Yeah. Yes, and yes, yes. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, you know what? I've been silent. I just turned 56 recently. Amen like, to that. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. Yes. I take all of it. And I am the fifth generation fashionist in our family, so it's in our bloodline. Yes. And my style comes from God, honestly. Yes. Actually, this was going to be a different way, and some some of my findings got misplaced. Yeah. And I said, God, I want to do this for my son. And so God was like, This is what you need to do. Hold on, right now, because and I feel like I you're speaking. I want to shout out like Caleb. Yes. Caleb. Yes. Ryan Wells. Yes. Caleb Ryan Wells yes. helped me bring this to fruition. Yes. At five and change this morning. Yes. Shout out to him. He's an amazing, amazing designer. And amazing. we're all a part of the APOTS team too. Yes. So, amen to that. Yes. Love that. And we will definitely stay in touch because Thank when I talk too. about fashion, I want to find dope creative pieces like this that stands yeah. out. I feel like it needs to be highlighted on the channel. A lot of times I feel like people just put basic things. Nothing yeah. wrong with basic, by the way. But you know, sometimes I love to go above and beyond. You know, I love when people, you know, go <laughs> all out. Yes. yes. And so you they, know what? I just want people to do it. Don't wait. Yes. Don't wait. God has blessed you. Get up and put it on. What are yes. you waiting for? If you feel it, wear it. Yes. My, I will be, if one day I may put on five or six fits. Yep. I got some more heat. So if you see me, I'm going to be doing some. I know that's right. Doing doing damage. damage. Yes. I, you feel, I felt that deep in here. I was like, wait. some stuff. Yeah. Wait, they said, is it damage control when you put these fits on or no? No. <laughs> it's the fact that I need to express all of that yes. in a day. Yes. And what I realized yes. is that it makes people happy. Yes. And shout out to my brother Ramil, my brother up the way a little bit. And yes. when we put our stuff on it, it brings joy to people. And we're yes. all about spreading joy. Amen to that. And that creativity and confidence. People will think they can't. This is what I hate when they say, yeah. oh, I love that on you. Yeah. But I could never. And I said, yes. why not? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. But yes. Put Amen to that. Yes. Thank you. Put it on and wear it out. <laughs> yes. I love that. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, sister. You're welcome. Yeah. One, two, three. CJ, what's good, my bro? How you doing today? Oh, what's good? It's your boy CJ One K, man. Uh huh. He said fit check. Yes. You know, the fit ain't free. No, I'm just uh, yeah. <laughs> Rick, I got these new Rick boots. But look at these shits. Oh my god. Look yeah. at the hair. Uh, yo. No hair look luxury. Uh huh. And then off white pants right here. Yeah. Greedy unit belt. Yeah. Uh, Central Antwerp bracelet. Yeah. Entire Studios jacket. Yeah. I don't know New York chain. Uh huh. I don't know. Yeah. And then uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, Vivian Aries. Yeah. Vivian Aries. Vivian's on the Aries. What was your favorite part about the off white show? It was refreshing, I feel like. Yeah. And they brought it back to New York, which made it even better. And hot take, Off-White is back, bro. Yeah. The, oh. the quality might not look as fire on picture, but in person and yeah. everything, Off-White back. Shout out IB, though. That's for, real. for sure. Love, man. And you know, I got one quick question for you, right? The real question. Are you staying in New York or you moving to Louisiana? Because I've been watching the vlogs, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm staying in New York. That's what I'm talking man. about, man. This Come stuff, on. This real, this real life. 
So yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm probably staying in New York forever. Yeah. I'm gonna raise my kids out here. They gonna be uh, some Soho Nepo, but Harlem. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Cause you definitely know Soho needs the fits from you, man. You know what I say? You putting it on, fam. Thank you, bro. It's always love, bro. Daniel and Troy, what's up? How y'all doing today? Okay. So starting off with Daniel. Talk to me about the outfit. You killing it for Fashion Week. I love the denim. I love the patches. Everything. So your boy is custom from head to toe slash by DKG. I'm the designer. Oh, talk your shit. Let's go. Custom tees. Everything is sustainable. One yes. Custom. One on one. Y'all check me out. Yes. Yes. On the gram. Yes. Com. And let me get a close up. Now I'm coming over to you. We got to see the back of the jacket. Walk me through this jacket now. The money is definitely dripping. Money is in the building. Yes. Uh huh. But now we front and center. Now they all on us. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And where do you get your style inspiration from, Daniel? Everywhere. Everywhere. All this is yeah. like everywhere. The streets. Yes. You know how I feel. Yes. It depends on what I have to say. Yeah. Comes yes, for sure. And what was your favorite part about the Off White Show? All of it. Being here. Yes. My first time in New York. Oh, yeah. First time in New York. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All of it, y'all. It's the whole. Thank you. Yes, for yeah. sure. Definitely not. You know, I got to get a close up on this. Yeah. Wait, is this a, a fucking like one one body suit like yeah, zip up along with like denim? You see the set out to the street. This is live. This is designer right now. All the leading ladies of the nineties are yeah. on here. You like see that? Beyonce. Yeah. So. You got a little Cam, you got yeah. Missy. Okay, Foxy. shout out to the ladies. Like, come on now. Yes, I come appreciate that. Oh, to Zion, yes, she will do it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Jalil, what's up, brother? How you doing today? Okay, I'm doing great. So talk to me about the outfit. I mean, from head to toe. All right, well, head. Yeah. This is put by Air Peace. Okay. Ooh. Get to details. Nice way to represent for the fashion show right now. You know we live saying? at the. Oh. Huh? Black design. Yeah. Same thing with the glasses. Put by Air Spring Seven Seventeen. Okay. Love that. This is the shirt that my grandmother gave me. Yeah. <laughs> this is Anonymous Club. Okay. Black Ooh. Same with the boots. Anonymous Club. Oh, anonymous on the boots and, and then we have a rash to miss these bag bags. Like that. So you're backing out P 2017, P, you know, we're in 2024, y'all. So that this is dope. I like that. You know, take care of your pieces and Thank showcase you. them later on in the years. As long as some family comments from my grandma. Yep. Amen wow. to that. Love yes, love that. Yeah. What was your favorite part about the off-white fashion show? My favorite part about the off-white fashion show was yeah. the beaded um kind of tight silhouette things yeah. with the beaded skirt. Yeah. I love that silhouette. That was very good. It was like sports wear, yeah. like making it chic. Okay. And I really like that technique. Like that, that's for sure. And where do you get your style inspiration from? God. God. Amen to that. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> Love, thank you man. So much. What's up, sister? How you feeling today, beautiful? I'm doing really good. How are you? You are looking fabulous. You working this table now. I don't know who's on the payroll, the table or you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And what's your favorite season to get dressed? Summer, spring, winter, fall. Yes. What was your favorite part about the Off White Show? I think that like if the car is finishing and shining through in the season, yes. I'm so proud of it. I'm really proud of the vision, the overall look. Yes. The overall look for me too. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Thank you for your presence and your beauty. Gotham, what's up, my brother? How you doing today? Yo, Preppy P, Gotham Gallery. A big shout out to Get Over with Jay. Yeah, you know Get Over with Jay, Gotham Gallery, X Collab. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yes, it's good to finally run to you and get Thank you for the you fit so check. Much. Yes, talk to me about the cap and everything else. Uh, so, P for Preppy P, but it's Ralph Lauren, Gotham Gallery. Okay, I like that. So, like that. this is a vintage, yeah. but P again for Preppy P. Okay. Preppy. Ralph Lauren shirt and tie combo. Ooh. This is vintage. Uh huh. And of course, Ralph on the feet. Okay, Ralph's on the feet. And some light on the dress. Okay. Yep. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yes, yeah, sir, for <laughs> Thank sure. Thank you so much. Yes. Man. And where you get your style inspiration from? From you, my man. Yeah, from we me. Match today, right? Oh, man, yeah. I mean, we got a little green. I ain't really got that shit on y'all. But hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to represent. Love, love always, man. Favorite looks from today's video was coming in at number one. DDG, man, I've been waiting to meet DDG for so long and just hold the conversation with him. But it was always the wrong place at the wrong time. For some odd reason he looked fly in his off-white uh cardigan sweater with his sweatpants um shut up the baby rich too you know what i'm saying i think it's like always respectful like when you see like the main artists in the group but then you recognize like the underdog in the group too or you know the the up and coming you know artists in the group and things like that and show them some love i'd be rocking with baby rich when i used to go to ddg's concert very show love chop it up and things like that Look number two, Ramel, he had on like that pearl 
diamond suit from head to toe that was super fly. I recognized him because he be designing a lot of his own clothes and he was wearing his own, you know, brand and representing and support. And that's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get out here, you pop up to these shows, you wear your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, for example, a coach ambassador, somebody from the PR team may be like, yo, who makes that or whatever the case is. And one day you may have a collab with a big brand or one day, you know, you might just put your own brand on the map just by wearing it. You know what I'm saying? And then you create more customers for yourself and things like that. So I think it's always a flex when somebody is confident in wearing their own brand. Shout out to the other, I think creator, created as something. I was having a full blown conversation with her. As you can tell, she was talking for about like five minutes, but during the course of her conversation, she said some powerful and meaningful words. And it was talking about uplifting black brands and things like that. And I was talking to my supervisor at my job, sorry, my assistant director at my job about something kind of related to um, what the creator what we was talking about. But besides the point, I really like the fact that the jacket was turned into a bag. I loved her Mugler fit, knowing that she took the jean jacket and wore it as like, I don't know, like a, is it, should I say like a corset or not, not like a corset. She wore it as like one of those like off the shoulder gowns or whatever. I thought that that was super fly. I thought that that was dope. Um, her, her mullet hairstyle that she had was super fire along with those, um, is it, was it Tory Burch or was it, no, it was the Telfar earrings that she was wearing. Um, my next look was the girl at the very beginning. I forgot her name right now. And the, the snow buddy, she had in that fire off white fit. It was kind of like a off white denim, um, um, jacket mixed with like a, like a jump. Like, like a jumper or, or like a skirt or whatever, but it was like an all-in-one set, which was super, super dope, super, super fly. And I love the colorways. I love how she paired it with the off-white sneakers. She looked really cool, fun, and sporty and casual. You know what I'm saying? Um, moving on to the next look was, I think the designer, he said his name was, I think he was from like Louisiana. He had on that long um, denim jacket with the patches, and then he had the money sign in the back. And then he had the, the the crystals. I thought that that was super dope. I thought that that was fly. I love when people just get out there, get out their comfort zone and just step outside the box and bring ideas to life. You know what I'm saying? Like he represented his brand well. When he walked by me, I was doing an interview with one lady and I happened to look over and see him. And all I kept saying was, I got to get this dude, but I got to stay on track with my question because y'all know the old I get. I be feeling like I'm losing my damn memory somehow. And I can't even remember half of the damn people I be interviewing sometime. Um, that's how I many damn people I be trying to talk to and talking to. Um, next up was the sister that had on the, um, the red Gucci bag, right? And she had on like some blue and red silk ruffle shirt along with some red shades. I forgot her name, but her look was super fly too. Um, it, it was kind of like giving me a mixture of like casual, but like I'm stepping out, you know, for, for like a day party or something like that. Um, shout out to CJ. You know what I'm saying? He stepped one through. I like, I, I fucked with CJ. You know, CJ always show love. Um, and, and, but on top of that, it's just like knowing that I'd be watching his videos, bro. And I'd be keeping up with the vlogs and shit. And every time I see him, like I'll talk to him about a vlog or whatever, um, and like, he just be like, oh, like, okay, this dude is like really watching, like really interested. He had those Rick Owen, those Rick Owen boots were fire, bro. Y'all should have felt the hair on those boots. So soft, so like luxurious. You could tell like that was some like hair that was from the fucking Alaskan wolves. You know what I'm saying? Like great, great, great material on that. I loved his white puffer. And also how he mixed it with the green. And then he has his own unique style because in his braids, he had kind of like, um, I don't know, like some silver, like some silver hoop chain that went on the ends. But I thought it was fly. Then he had his grills on. Um, that was cool. Oh, that was his name, Minnie. It was another dude I went to interview, but I forgot his name. For some odd reason, every other time I fucking remember his name, but I forgot his name. Um, he looked fly, Manny. Um, who else was another good look from that episode because I was enjoying all the looks you guys. Oh, v v Valer. It, it was, okay. So it was a young lady that kind of had all black. Well, she didn't kind of, but she had all black one guys. And then she had kind of like that 
wet hair effect where she pushed all her hair back when it was wet. I love the all black look. Gothic, sleek, you know what I'm saying? Dressed for the event. That was super fly to me. Shout out to, I think his name start with a B. It start with B something. Um, he was wearing the red leather pants along with the, I think he told me it was like a Versace blazer um, vintage or something like that. But I was fucking with his cap. You see, I had like those kind of diamonds all over the cap. I realized that that's in trim right now. And that's what a lot of people wear. Those caps are fly. And I like how he put his fit together. And every day I be bringing y'all videos. You know what I'm saying? I said, there is not a reason why is New York Fashion Week and I'm not out here devouring YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm pushing out content. I already got a video for tomorrow already prepared. You know what I'm saying? When we're outside and I'm going to get like five more videos and prepare that for the next five days because I need my view, I need my videos to get back in the algorithm. But you got to put that work in every day. And that's why I said September is going to be that month where I put in that work every single day and not take no days off. You know what I'm saying? I just got to get better with the thumbnails, which I have been doing because after I'm like interviewing a person, I'll get their gram, I'll talk to them for a little bit. And then I'll be like, yo, I need you for a thumbnail real quick. Um, but the time frame that I'm dropping these videos, because I was looking at a poll and I'm like, wait, bro, I feel like five o'clock is like too late for me to drop these videos because I, I don't know what's up. Like they're not hitting, you know what I'm saying? So they was giving me a suggested time frame to post. They said a lot of y'all be online from like, 12 to 3 or 12 to 4. So I was like, okay, cool. Y'all be online around that time. I'll drop the video like 1, 2 o'clock or something like that. But I need y'all, I need to drop the video when a lot of y'all are online. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can really just see these videos. But the off white fashion show was a vibe. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I, I didn't attend, but from clips that I seen online, you guys, I was just like, yo, like I'm like, oh, they got some shit. Like even CJ was saying, he was like, yo, Off White is back. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one of the brands that's definitely in the loop again. You know, we're going to be talking about it. You know, much down the line, the pieces, the texture, the material, you know, the designs, the fabrics, and all of that things. And yo, I want to kind of end this video up by saying, right? Let your haters be your motivators because I got a nigga that's like 10 plus years older than me that do fashion content created that's always wearing this bum ass black blade coat like he's dressed to play Blade Trinidad in the next upcoming movie and he think that he could outshine me, he could outstump me like yesterday outside doing interviews or whatever so I wanted to get this girl Mariah the Scientist. So he got her for a fit check while she came out or whatever the case is. But with fit checks, it's usually like, there's no rules. Like everybody do fit checks and everybody answer questions in their own way. Mm -hmm. So he, excuse me. oh my God, excuse me. So he stopped her for the fit check. After he stopped her for the fit check, I wanted to talk to her about her outfit. But I was like, damn, I know I can't go into full detail. Like, yo, you know, this took me about a fit real quick. So I had a different approach. I said, what song would best describe this fit? She was like, black and yellow. She was pleasant. But her friend was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bitch. You're talking about, oh no, she gotta go, she gotta go. I'm like, shorty, nobody's talking to you, bro. Like, I'm talking to the artist. You're not the artist. Is your name a writer, scientist? That's what, that's, that, that's, that's what this stupid asshole's problem is. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, nobody not even talking to you. I'm talking to the artist. If the artist don't want to do it, okay, cool, whatever. That's just like I ran into somebody else yesterday. You know, he didn't want to do the fit check or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. But he kind of played himself to me because he was like, like, I was kind of like recording in the background, but like, it wasn't the recording so I can post it because I only post fit checks. It was just the, you know, record it in the background. I don't know. Maybe I was going to um, send it to a friend that was taking the photos of him. But he was like, are you recording me? And I was like, I'm like, yo, it's Rick. I'm like, yo, you don't remember me? Like, And I'm just like, for him to be like, are you recording me? I'm like, nigga, like, you know what? I should ask him. I should be like, yo, it's cool if I record you. You know what I'm saying? But I asked him, I was like, yo. Get you for a fit check real quick. He was like, he didn't want to do it. He, he was like, no, not this time. You know what I said? Cool. It's all good. And I went to the next person. You can't stress these people. They don't want to do it. They don't want to fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? That's just like I ran in the offset or whatever the case is. You know, niggas don't like the fact that offset is cool with me and offset fuck with who he wanted or fuck with. At the end of the day, people be like, oh, yeah, it's a community and things like that. 
and all you guys should all stick together. Ain't no fucking sticking together because behind closed doors, people behind closed doors, people be jealous of you. But when they out in the public, everybody want to be friend, 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 friend. It's not like that. It don't work like that, bro. It don't work like that. I say fuck with the people that fuck with you. But even sometimes some of the new heads be coming on the scene, creating a content. You know, thinking that they better than you. You know, got some shit to say about you. And it's like, nigga, hold on. I birth you niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit longer than you. And, my, and, and like, I got a whole a whole fan base just fucking with me for the content that I do. But believe it or not, y'all, that's why I say I don't fuck with a lot of these, like, influencers and, like, YouTubers and shit like that. Because they be fake and phony. You know what I'm saying? They try to look good for their image, laughs, kisses, and smiles in public. And behind closed doors, they be jealous. They be hating on you. And they be fucking dick munching in the group chat took him out oh yeah um why he do this why he do that? like why are you so mad about what i'm doing if i'm doing fit checks why are you mad about that you want to be the only one to get the fit checks and that's not happening because the haters is going to be my motivators and i said now that he did that now i'm going to continue to get people and i'm going to continue to be outside the streets and guess what if we fight we fight i don't give a fuck because you too old to be hating and worried about what the next person doing and you got more fucking followers to me. That's the shit that I don't understand. It's just fucking mind boggling. I said, you only mad because my page look just as good as yours. He was quiet. He ain't, he ain't like, oh, he was like, oh, I'll come over there and smoke the shit out of you. I said, so do it. I'm standing right there. You think he came across the street, right? You think he came on the other side of the car this way? No. I said, suck my dick. Like, like, nigga, like, you're doing all this talking. You talk too much. You're not about to ask. Then he trying to flex his jewelry. Like, he's so corny. Like, nigga, I'll fucking take your jewelry and pawn that shit. But anyway, that's a different topic for a different day. I just don't have time for these niggas. Like, they just mad fucking corny. Like, they want people to dick ride them. Like, bro, I'm not dick riding you. I'm not asking for no fit check because you're not a celebrity. You're not an artist. We don't dick ride nobody. It's either yes or no. That's it. And I'm sorry if you wanted me to be a fan and I'm not. Because I'll never be on the bench warmer or, or be in the stanchions cheering you on. I'm going to sit at my own table and create my own foundation. Starting from the mud and working my way up. That's all it is. They be mad that you're confident, just as confident as them. But I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. It was a little rant at the end. Of, oh, shout out to Gotham Gallery too. Um, he always show love on the gram. You know what I'm saying? I talk to him, you know, here and there and things like that, even though people be running around. But for the most part, everybody just kind of do their own thing. I got him on a fit check yesterday. I was like, yo, let me do it or whatever the case is. And that's that. And it felt right. You know what I'm saying? One more thing. I inboxed somebody about a fashion show, right? We so cool. You talk about, oh, confidence, this, and oh, how we have long conversation. All that long conversation shit now is dead. I'm not having no long conversation with this nigga no more. Nigga never responded. I said, oh, but had that snow money bitch hit you up, you would have responded, though. You know what I'm saying? So um, he was at another event that I was at. And long story short, he wound up um, 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 being there. So when he heard my voice, he kind of like looked at me. I ain't even fucking looked at him and say nothing. And I said, next time I said, I'm be like, yo, what's up? You don't answer DMs no more? I'm be like, yo, you get 400K and, on and go Hollywood now? Like, what? And then he, he would be like, oh, no, it's not even like that. I'm be like, yo. I mean, like, yo, it's all good. It's all good, feel me? Because I already know how people want to play their sides. And guess what? I'm 10 toes never fall, baby. I don't get scared. I become the villain and adapt. Game on. Peace.